After making a lot of story progress, I reached the Thunder Plains and realized, man, this area is so good for power leveling. I was going to be here for a while. And little did I know, turning out to be almost 35 hours at it. Wow, yeah, 35 hours. Hmm. However, just to give you an idea on what I've got going on, I'll just show you my status at the moment. Just to give you the basic idea, I'm really trying to get strength on the damage dealers for the most part, except for Luzu, obviously. Finally got him up and going because he wasn't getting strength boost for so long. What good is magic going to do for him? And this one, I'm mainly after magic so I can get those furies going crazy. And just so you know, between this one and this one, they're using overdrives like you wouldn't believe. It's just hundreds of hundreds of uses of overdrives. Just to show you what I've got going on, basically, I'm just going around in circles, or just wandering on over in this section over here, like this. Just staying near that pillar. Just going until I find something. Gotta love the Slayer Overdrive mode. I'm just trying to get Yuna leveled up a bit, too. Water got like crazy. You might have noticed that huge damage I'm doing now. You I don't need, and you can finish you off, no problem. Yeah, that's right, 6,000. Yeah! 550. Everything here is 500 plus. Which really makes it so much faster than that high road area. And to think I needed over about 100 battles just to level up in the high road at the time? Here, I'm getting a spare level every 40 battles, give or take. And this thing I can do the nines on. Yeah, that's right. The nines. Nines. As you can kind of get a hint of. Five hundred plus for everything. And when MP is getting low, that's what that save sphere is all about. And if I get start accumulating too much junk in my inventory, go off and sell it. Speaking of overdrive, huh, wrong character. This thing has been using Blitz A so many times, I've probably used it about a thousand total times by now. Just watch the damage that he can do now. I love this start. <laughs> All those numbers popping out in such short notice, you know, the critical. Yeah, okay. And don't forget Lulu's Overdrive. Another Fury. Mmm, so close to a nine. I got nine once. These are magic resistant, by the way. And just one of those gets alone is enough to overkill it. Now this is extreme power level and then some. Don't you think? Looks like three more battles and Yuna levels up. You may notice how fast those overdrives fill up for Lulu and Titus. Five enemies and we have an overdrive. It's that quick. And thanks to Thunderproof or Lightning Proof, these things are completely harmless. Both of them are, as far as I know. Ready for some more nines? Nine. Two more fights. Yeah, I got almost 1.3 million gil. And climbing. What about Yuna's Overdrive? Well, this is a good setup for that. So I just use Triangle to get everyone going, and off I go. I think the uh, Gold Element decided to order a bunch of nines. A dozen nines, in particular. Yeah, hasn't placed an order for a bunch of nines. Get it? 
This thing has been doing nines ever since b -Sade. Yeah, ever since b -Sade. See my first leveling ground video for that. Nines. And then some, like I said. Order fulfilled. Satisfied customer. This should be the last fight I need. And did you know I actually got a game over in this particular kind of setup? Except I got ambushed, so I just had confusion. Or what you're not right now is confuse proof. So, he had confusion, everything else, just, you know, that's all the problems that I had. Attack Lulu, which is my main source, you notice the immune. Attack the one that's in the middle, and then he kept trying to attack himself like crazy, and he eventually connected. One hit, and he was out. Notice the 12,000. I actually thought AP was going to be needing a whole lot more than 22,000 exactly. But little did I know it capped, and that is what kept me at this for so long. Oh good, another magic boost. Magic defense, I think that's what this is. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, except I got a lock in the way, so that means I'm gonna have to abandon it. Regen. Hmm, should I power level up in just a bit more so I can get that? Hmm. It is kinda tempting in a way. Yeah, except with the kind of HP I got, I really don't need it. And just to give you an idea on my overall progress, look how little I have cleared in this almost a hundred total hours of play. Yeah, I've had to end up going to backtrack. I got Lulu Flare, but uh, and then also known as Riku's in Lulu's area. That's because I got level one keys, so I can get in there. But since I had level two and level three keys blocking my way, for which I've yet to see a level two key. Well, I ended up having to store 25 levels in the backtrack. Now I'm trying to get Lulu into Yuna's area so I can get even more magic boosts. But Yuna's area is quite a ways away, so it's going to be a bit. And as far as Yuna goes, well, you kind of saw what I just did there. And Titus, well, I had to end up doing the same thing. Backtracking all the way from over here. And yes, I abandoned Quick Hit because I don't really need it. Uh, let's see, there was a strength boost. Yep, that's the last one I got. And then I backtracked all the way over here. All the way to his absolute beginning, which is something I think it's right here, if I remember. And then, of course, I got him some strength boosts over here. And now, what my plan is at the moment is going through the rest of Kimari's section counterclockwise. And then heading off into Waka's section over here. So that way, you know what's coming up. More strength. That way his Blitz Ace can eventually do 9999 damage on those weaker hits. That love the fact strength is based on a cube. Yeah, so double strength to get 8 times more damage, which is really extreme when you think about it. Riku, a um, brand new character, and already look. <laughs> That's a ton of progress. And as far as Kimari goes... Yep, I just circled his area and went into Riku's section, in case you're wondering. And Riku, well, is barely did anything here, so I just sent her off around Kimari's section, and now she's in Lulu's area. And Arun is basically trapped, because there's only one way to get into there, and that's level 2 or level 3 keys, for which I have neither of. And thus, he's basically just being left in the dust because of it. Still, in a way, is way over-leveled compared to what you're normally supposed to have. And Waka finally got a catch-up because I got him strength boosts. And you only need about three or four battles just to level up. Gotta love that triangle button for making him defend just so he can do something and gather AP. So he can level up. And that's what started it. He was, when I started all this power leveling here, he wasn't even doing 400 damage. Except in a critical. But now, he's doing like 3,000, 4,000. He's gotten really a lot better. That's all thanks to strength boosts. And that's basically what I have going on at the moment. 